No, that didn't make sense. Hey everybody and welcome. Today's video, I am going to create this eye look, which I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see it, using crazy affordable eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. You guys, these palettes are three flippin' dollars. I'm gonna have every one of these linked down below because I got some thoughts, I got some opinions, and um, let's just go ahead and get right into the disclaimer before we jump into my ever long talkity talk talk video. This is a judgment and drama free zone where we always embrace the hot mess. Y'all, I'm a Gemini that is extremely talkative and I've been eating carbs, so my ADHD is like strong. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the train wreck. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Guys, let's talk about these adorable little e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. Um, there's a lot here because I don't know how to just pick one thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. So what did I do? They're $3. So I justified buying every single one of them. It's a judgment and drama free zone. So I don't want to hear about it in the comment section. Okay. It was $3 and I bought every one of them. The bite size very bad. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll swatch these for you guys. This may be a longer video than I planned, but I mean, it's quarantine. So we have time, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and swatch them for you guys and hopefully it is in focus. Okay, so again, like I said, these palettes are legitimately $3 palettes. $3 guys, $3. Do you see the swatch? Now I can tell you because I have used this palette, it was absolutely beautiful it was amazing I'm gonna move on to the next palette this is called cream and sugar and I I just loved this one I mean I loved all of them but truffles I want to show you both of them these gave me Natasha Denona mini vibes so hard for the glam and the nude palette now I don't have the mini nude palette by Natasha Denona but I do have the glam palette which I will show you guys and I have not tried it yet but this is the glam by Natasha Denona and here is the cream and sugar you guys see where you, you know what I mean it's kind of got those vibes right let me see if I can get the other palette in here this is just a hot mess Okay, so yeah, maybe one of the shades in here, maybe two of the shades in the Truffle Palette by e.l.f., but definitely in the Cream and Sugar. So if you are wanting the Natasha Denona, the Glam, Mini Glam Palette, you may want to consider this little $3 Cream and Sugar. Just saying. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch the Cream and Sugar Palette. I have to say, I really like the way that the shimmers feel in these palettes. They're just, I love a creamy feeling shimmer and these definitely have that. I mean, that is crazy. Look at how those swatch. And again, this is the cream and sugar. We're just having a good old time in our PJs, playing in makeup. You guys got your coffee, tea? Let's go ahead and swatch this truffle palette. I mean, it's just so pretty. I can't decide which palette I'm gonna use today, to be honest with you guys. I mean, look at that. Do you guys see that? Swatching every single e.l.f. mini palette. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? They just, I mean, I know swatches don't tell the full story, but I can tell you I have used this palette and the swatches do tell the full story there. This palette right here is called the Pumpkin Pie Mini Palette. Look at that. Now, you guys know I just uploaded a video do, using the Charlotte Tilbury Copper Charge Palette for specifically formulated for blue eyes. And I kind of feel like this palette is going to be kind of similar. I mean, not a spot on dupe, obviously, because this is definitely more orange. But I feel like with the copper charge, it gives you that like really va-va-voom when it comes to 
accentuating blue eyes and I really feel like this pumpkin spice is definitely going to do that but because I literally I plan to get this video up for you guys on Thursday and my in my head I'm thinking that Charlotte Tilbury video went up on Wednesday is what I think it is planned for so I don't really want to use this pumpkin palette because I feel like it's going to be very similar looks but look at that I mean, these shimmers are insane. And I will tell you guys, I, I don't feel like that matte swatch very well. But from what I you know, know from that first palette that I swatch, the mattes perform very beautifully. I'm running out of space. Okay, so I feel like you guys are really going to want to see swatches of this green one. I'm not going to go ahead and swatch all of them. We're six minutes in, and um, I feel like I'll bore you guys. So let's go ahead and swatch the green palette. It's called Hot Jalapeno. I feel like I should use this palette. I'll probably use a mix of some of them. Let's go ahead and swatch it up here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so pretty. So hard to swatch with a pinky. Those shades are really pretty. And again, here is the palette. I feel like we're gonna go with that because it has, it really reminds me of that one olive palette that I really wanted. Plus it reminds me of like the, it's, is it called the 420 palette by Melt Cosmetics or their Gemini palette? It's like really giving me those vibes. Okay, let's clean this off and we'll go ahead, I'll zoom you guys in and we'll get started with an eye look. Now that I'm looking at it, this hot jalapeno kind of reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona mini gold palette do you guys see that very similar okay so we went ahead we've gone ahead and primed the lids with our gerard cosmetics clean canvas eye base i do have a coupon code for you guys to save 30 percent you can start with our bite size shadow and cream and sugar and i am going to go in with this matte shade i'm going in and i'm going to set my clean canvas eye base not that you have to but that's what I like to do let's just use multiple I say one thing and then I go another way with it I am in a pool from three different palettes here so this is one that I did not swatch initially but I am gonna go ahead and swatch it and this one is the carnival carnival candy palette isn't that so pretty let's go ahead and swatch this why not Ooh, that's a pretty blue Oh, this is really pretty. I could have just pulled that. And again, here's what the palette looks like. I am loving these mini palettes, guys. And like I said, I'm going to link all of these for you guys down below. And I'll use like magic links so it will be an affiliate. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull this shade right here to use as my transition. And then we'll move in to the jalapeno shade. I mean, look at the pigmentation. Now, I will say, I don't feel like this side's going to match because I forgot to clean my brush off. So, that's going to be my fault, but, you know, whatever. So pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the jalapeno shades, or palette. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into this lighter green. I don't know where I'm going to place it. Let's just have fun. Okay, so it's really sheer. So I'm definitely getting more pickup with my finger. And it's definitely kind of a shimmery shade. This is pretty though. Let's try and pick it up with a different brush. This is my rougher 02 brush. And let's apply it that way. Oh yeah, it was definitely my brush before. I do think that you get the best payoff using your finger, but it does work with the brush, depending on which brush you use. Okay, so let's dive into this matte green shade, and I'm going to apply that in the outer V. Okay, so I'm going to take just a little of this gold with my finger and tap it right in the center. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to do the liner, mascara, all of that, and actually the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. 
Okay guys, so I am back with the finished eye look. Real quick, I have a slew of eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, a slew of products on my eyes. As far as what I have on liner, I do have my Benefit Highbrow on my waterline. I just have a black liner on my tight line. As far as mascara goes, I do have the Blink Black Lash Primer. This was in a BoxyCharm for May. This primer is by far my favorite primer ever, y'all. It is thebomb.com, yeah. I went there. As far as mascara, I do have the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. And then to top it off, I do have my Essence Lash Princess and just globbed it on because you guys know your girl loves a lot of mascara. As far as the rest of my face, I did film a Fenty, uh, the bronzer contour and cheek blusher video application. That is what is on my face with the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime foundation and i will link everything down below for you guys as well if you guys are interested and you do shop through my links thank you guys those are affiliate links through magic links so i really want to thank you guys in advance if you do decide to pick up anything that i've talked about today it's a way that i can put right back into our channel and provide more content for you guys as well as the patreon is linked down below in my description box for you guys as well. Now let's talk about these little e.l.f. eyeshadows. Holy guacamole, you guys. Don't sit on these, don't sit on these. I know it's ridiculous. Uh, you don't have to pick up all eight of them, um, but for $32 and let's see, what is that, 32 shades? 32 shades total for $32. You're literally paying a dollar a shade. And you guys, these palettes are absolutely amazing. Like absolutely amazing. Like I said, I do feel like if you had your eye on the Natasha Denona mini uh, gold palette, I feel like you would really enjoy this, whether you paired them together or you just went with the $3 palette. Same with the little mini glam palette. And let me pull my mini retro. I mean, could you? No. Okay. The mini retro, I wouldn't say any of these are like a potential dupe form, but I do think that you could create very similar looks with a lot of these little palettes with these Natasha Denona palette. No, that didn't make sense. I definitely feel like these little mini palettes by e.l.f., you could create some looks that would look very similar to these Natasha Denona mini palettes, just saying. So I will have these linked and listed down below for you guys. I think that they perform beautifully. Like I said, I did use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. You guys know this is my go-to. I multitask my products, so I use this in my T-zone as well when I'm having like large pour day inflammation, whatever you wanna call it. As well as I do feel like with some of these shimmers, you could really probably use these as a highlight as well, like in this cream and sugar palette. I'm kind of curious to potentially set underneath my eye with this cream and sugar matte shade. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that is all for today's video. If you guys picked up any of these e.l.f. palettes, let me know your thoughts down below. These are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. Great for travel too. So anyways, guys, like I said, all information will be listed and linked down below. If you guys like my earrings, I'll have those listed as well. Those are, these are from Uncommon James. These are the larger size Girl Boss earrings, but I will have everything listed and linked. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are well, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video enough to subscribe and turn on your notification bell because I'm uploading all the time over here. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. You guys know I I'm trying to grow my following big time over there. Thank you to all that have jumped over to my Instagram and followed me. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for everything. And I hope you're safe. Hope you are well. And until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah.